Today's video is going to be on this makeup look. I went ahead and picked up a few new products, including the Stila Magnificent Metals, I think is what it's called, and the NYX Total Control Foundation, and I wanted to put them to the test. I wanted to see what the hype was all about. So this is the outcome, and I really like how everything came out. So without any further ado, let's get in the video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for videos like this. I'm doing Makeup Mondays, so yeah. All right, beautiful people. So we are starting off with priming our face. And as usual, I'm gonna go in with the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel and I'm gonna prime my face. So I'm gonna be using a few new products today and this NYX Total Control Foundation is one of them. This is in the color Caramel and I'm gonna go ahead and shake it because it says that you should shake it. And then also it says if you want light coverage, you use two drops. If you want medium coverage, you use three drops. And if you want full coverage, you use four drops. So it's almost like conditioner. You know how conditioner it says use a dime size. <laughs> I don't see me using four drops, but we're gonna do it on our beauty blender and we're gonna add four drops. Well, hopefully it goes a long way because this is a little bottle. So one, oops, that wasn't, that wasn't one, two, three, four. Okay, that was four. <laughs> so I really like the coverage and I like the color because it looks similar to my complexion. Let me see if I can, maybe that way. I know they did have like a kabuki brush at Ulta with it. So maybe that's how they suggest the four drops. I don't know. If you tried this, definitely comment below on how you apply it. The finish is pretty matte. It's actually really matte. I'm sure the fact that I put it on the Ramel London primer is another reason why it may be super matte, but I like it. I can dig it. Yesterday I went and got some new fabric for my background, so I'm trying this light pink pastel-y color, see if I like it. And if you wanna see a detailed video on how I do my backgrounds, you can click here, I think it's here or here. I'm gonna figure that out one day. All right, now it's time for eyebrows and let me get these bad boys together and I'll be right back. If you wanna see a detailed video on my eyebrows, it's somewhere along here. All right, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and I set with the Pro Concealer in Pure Beige and now I we're about to go in with eyeshadow. So first eyeshadow I'm going to use is Saddle by MAC and I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a transition color and put that inside my crease. All right, so now that I have that all blended out, I'm gonna take Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to put that in the crease but with a smaller shader so it could be more concentrated. <clears throat> now that I have that blended out, I'm gonna take this Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow by Stila. I just wanted to see what the hype was about. Like everybody is talking about these things. So I took my little behind to Ulta's and I bought it. They retail for $24, which is pretty expensive for this little bottle, but <clears throat> we're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna put this on the lid. Okay. Okay. Screens, believe in everything we come to see. Go outside if so good. I've already swatched this on my hands, so it dries really quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. I am loving this color, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. All right, so I can see what the fuss is about because I like it. Yes. Okay, next time for my wing, I'm using the Black Radiance Waterproof Liquid Liner. I like this liquid liner because it does not bleed in the shadows. Like it goes over glitter fine 
and it's pretty cheap too. Now time for mascara. I'm going to take the Big Shot Colossal Mascara and coat these lashes. Alright, so I'm going to pop on my lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, so lashes are on. Now it's time for concealer, highlights, contour. So yeah. So to cover up my dark circles, I'm going to use the yellow corrector underneath my eyes and then I'm going to use my concealer. Alright, so now with my Pro Concealer in Pure Beige, I'm going to go ahead and go over that and highlight. Alright, so next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Contour Duo and I'm going to set that concealer. Everything we believe. Alright, so now it's time for contour. I'm going to contour with the black opal in suede and mocha. Ooh. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend that out. I'm going to go back into that contour duo by Wet n Wild and I'm going to set that contour. Alright, so now time for highlighter. I'm going to take my Fix Plus, spray my fan brush, and then I'm going to dip it into this LA Girls highlighter that I really am thoroughly enjoying. Let's set that right there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so next I'm going to throw color back into my face by using the Black Opal Mosaic Bronzer and give me some sun. Not really, but make it look like I got some sun. Okay, so next for blush, I'm going to take this coral color and this taupey color, and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and dip into Sienna, put that on my lash line. Before, I never used to like touch my lash line. It was like so bare. All right, so now that I have Sienna on my lash line, I'm going to go back into the Stila Magnificent Metals, and I'm going to go ahead and put... Some of that down here. All right, so now that we have that squared away, I'm going to put some eyeliner on the waterline and I'm using the NYC Coal again. I'm like totally loving this look already. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the Big Shot Maybelline Mascara and apply some mascara to my lower lash line. Now that that's said and done, I think the last thing I have to do is spray my face and figure out a lip. I don't know what lip I should do with this. Maybe a coral, let's see. I'm going to smiss my face. Or maybe I should do lips first, right? All right, so let's do lips. What do I wanna do? All right, so I'm gonna go into this Coral Corruption by Wet n Wild. You're a part of me, but we're so apart. And I just learned this trick that if you put some bronzer around your lip line, if you don't have like a cork or a brown liquid liner, if you put that around your lip line, it won't look so Tyrone Biggums-ish. So that's what I did and that completes my look. All right, beautiful people. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really like this foundation. Like really like this foundation <laughs> and also the Stila Magnificent Metals yeah I think they're worth it they are $24 it's a little bit pricey but I feel like you don't use a lot of product and it's pretty like it's it's pretty like it's gorgeous so that wraps up my video if you like this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed make sure you follow me on instagram blog spot twitter and snapchat mainly instagram and snapchat it's all lingy was here and i'll see you guys in the next video Is it where is it where is it and as usual I'm go I'm gonna go ahead and take Sienna by Anastasia um, Anastasia hey oh man all right
right, so next I'm going to throw... Shit. All right, so next I'm going to do my wing. And as usual, I am using the Black Radiance Waterproof. This is not it. That's not the Black Radiance one. All right, so I'm going to go back and... and oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm using the NYC liquid want no it's not liquid this is not liquid <laughs> say hello uh, to youtube uh, he's already seen. not him i say i said say hello to youtube uh oh i said i didn't say hello i said say hi youtube what is youtube okay bye mom <laughs> <laughs> okay youtube you gotta get that you only want to chase the feeling again Let's be friends You only need what's best for you and not them